Hey y'all, Dekumon here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. Uh, I, I do want to apologize before we get into this properly. I know there's been kind of a drought for the last few days. It's kind of been a rough couple days. It's nothing major, mind you, mostly just recovery and recuperating from the family for the last two weeks. And not having enough time to just sit down and record. Or when I had the time, I didn't have the energy. Ah, oh, that's what happens. You go on vacation for a couple weeks and suddenly you gotta do everything when you get back all at once. But anyway, last time we assembled a freaking epic team of every nation was putting in their elites. Oh, and then we charged on Garlemald. That's right, we're here. We are on Garlean turf. This is Garlemald proper and this is a, uh, not a small map. This also should be the first proper map that we can get flying in if the pattern holds. And our first ether current is not far off. But I think we need to continue our quest, Alphano. In spite of the obstacles we faced, our plan proceeds apace. Just a little farther and we'll reach the capital itself. Still, we mustn't get ahead of ourselves. As soon as the camp has been made fit for purpose, we are to discuss a course of action with Lucia. Would you mind asking Ishtola and Graha to join us in the building to the northeast of the camp? Alice and I will meet you there. All right. <laughs> and they are over here. Yeah, when we last left off, there was an amazing duty calls. And it was long. Like, holy crap long. A meeting. Yes, I'll make my way over once my head is cleared. Hmm? In truth, I've been feeling out of sorts since we arrived. The air is thick with a palpable aura of malevolence. It is the monstrous tower on the horizon. Jagged, hideous, unholy. Even at this distance, its presence is overwhelming. Tower? Uh, oh. Oh. God, even in the middle of the night, I can see this thing. This is... Damn. Oh, dear. <laughs> Much like the sensation I felt in the Tower of Zot, only far more terrifying. Ether flows unceasingly towards it, converging into a swirling mass of unfathomable power. For a blessing, the constant chill in the air is helping to anchor my senses in the here and now. Tell the others I shall be with you in a few moments. Hmm. Oh dear. Well, at least it's not blinding her with the sheer amount of ether flowing through it. And then we gotta find Graha, who should be over here. Working on supplies, no doubt. Come on, Graha, we gotta get going. You'll be pleased to know most of the tempered have been quartered inside the nearby buildings and are receiving treatment as we speak. Ah, good, we did bring a buttload of proxies with us. I do, however, feel no small amount of guilt for commandeering civilian homes. The occupants may be long gone, but everything is exactly as they left it. Now, considering the length of time that has clearly passed since then, one would expect to find them ransacked. Strangely, there are no signs of anything having been stolen. I imagine anyone that's getting this close to the Tower of Doom there has probably already been tempered. It's possible that everyone fled at the first sign of trouble, though it seems to me they left far too many useful possessions behind. I, although there is no conclusive evidence, I strongly suspect they were tempered. Oh, sorry, I was merely thinking aloud. You mentioned a meeting. I will make my way there. Mm-hmm. Well, I honestly thought that would clear the quest, but no. Just gotta get everyone together. Ah, I see. Not much of an indoors, but I suppose one planning table is as good as another. Thank you for informing the others of our meeting. When everyone is here, we shall begin. Hmm. Voiced, not voiced, voiced. Our present situation yep. is as follows. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city. For therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Telophoroi's designs. I have a suggestion, if I may. All right, Maxima, shoot. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Popularis and acquaintances of mine. Yeah. Once we've cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. Hmm. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and the administrations. 
Of course, I will require a porksy of my own, assuming you can spare one. <laughs> Would you like a hand? No, no, I am sure we will manage. Better that you take my place in the field. The noxious ether of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it would be prudent for me to remain within the camp. Ah, fair enough. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. Mm -hmm. All the houses round here are fitted with cerulean eaters that could keep us warm and toasty. Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, we'll be next. <sighs> what, do they need fuel, or do I need to go grab Sid? My smiths reckon that with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it won't be easy. Okay, just need parts then. Understood. The machinist will assist them in the repairs. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. I vote for the latter. We've made our presence known to the Tilofroi. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. That we have seen no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. I mean, this is Fan Daniel slash Amon. He could be prepping anything. And then there's Xenos. I'm half surprised Xenos hasn't charged down here and just like demanded a fight with me yet. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. Hmm. That's an unpleasant thought. In any event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Urianje, Estinian, and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. Perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmaskian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure. Hmm. <laughs> good idea. Don't forget about us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well now, this is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. Mm-hmm. I suppose you could fill my map in. How about you, Graha? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for that vanishing spell of yours. <laughs> Could be my honor to be of service. Though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. That leaves us with guard duty. Ugh, crap. Lucky me. As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphano. Hmm? Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhyme. I would have you search the area for survivors. Ooh. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. I mean, I have a mini-map and I have an ether compass. That's pretty much all I need. <laughs> if there are any survivors, we'll surely find them. Extensive travels is something of an understatement, but I suppose there's nothing else it needs doing. Ice fields? I love ice fields! Oh wait, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I'm perfectly fine searching for survivors. That also means quest givers. I have faith that you will, and look forward to greeting you on your safe return. Mm -hmm. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the fury bless and keep you. <laughs> Since I'm gonna have to be watching and looking for ether current quests now. Uh, since I need to do them in this rage, uh, oh well. Plus side, I should be 83 pretty shortly. Uh, there we are. Yeah, I kind of figured this quest will probably put me over the edge. Gods be good. If this code's with Tataru's clothing, I dread to think how we'd fare without it. I must remember to thank her when next we meet. What makes me realize, too, that while the people of Gardenbolt have spent their whole lives in conditions like these, even they'd be hard-pressed to survive away from the warmth of their homes. If there are any survivors, we must find them, and quickly. And Amelian's over here just freaking out to the cold, and there we go. <laughs> like I thought, 83, perfect. All right, Amelian, tracks in the snow. What ho, chums? Been given something to do, have ya? As it happens, I too have been ordered to make myself useful. Ugh, I'm not very good at that. 
That sounds like a rather tall order. <laughs> well, since you ask, we have to scour the Ebbing Rhine for survivors. What? Wander around the ice fields on the off chance you'll just find someone? Oh, you'll take forever to finish that job without the benefit of my expertise. Or more specifically, my telescope. Come, friends, I know just the spot to begin our search. Hmm. Well, at least he's bringing a toy to play with. Oh, I'll probably regret this, but we may as well humor him. <laughs> well, it can't be that bad. Uh, plus side, he is heading towards the ether current. Only 167 yolms out. Oh, wow, jeez. I should have looked up. <laughs> I was like, 21 to the northeast, it's not that far, and boom. Just walk right into the darn thing. <laughs> ah, bonus. I'm right by Amelian. Uh, where's our next one? 381 to the northeast, not that far. Mm hmm. Well? I spy with my little telescope something that begins with I. A massive sheep thing? Oh, maybe it's a cow. I'm not what we're after either way. Wait, is that an ether current? Ah, that was just a wind sprite. Hmm. Other than that, it's all snow. Snow and more snow. What? No. What do I see? Oh, you're here, luck? Hmm? Oh, there's no mistaking it. That's a girl. Oh. Well, a survivor. Show me. Over there, behind that tree, it looks like she's running away from something. Though, surely not us. She wouldn't even know we're here unless she had a telescope like mine. And there's no way she could afford that. Ah, all I can tell is that, it, is that she's wearing a pale green dress. Rather fetching one at that. <laughs> Lord love at first sight. Oh, she'll be long gone by the time we get anywhere near, but we should be able to follow her footsteps. Mm-hmm. Why do you guys look so short in this shot? I'll let Lucy know where you're heading. Oh, and take these warming tinctures with you. Probably a good idea. The poor girl must be chilled to the bone, not on the verge of freezing to death. That's actually very thoughtful. Thank you. But won't you need some for yourself? Oh, no, no, I'll be fine. As a man of chivalry, my honor demands I do no less. Unless we forget... The very reason we are here is to help protect those in need. Now go, and Godspeed. Wow. That actually, honestly, pretty decent of you, man. I was not expecting that. Also, is that a... Uh, I was going to say, but off in the distance, that looks like an oil rig. Hmm. Uh, regardless, uh, it's not far here. Here's some footprints. Looks like they're headed off to the north here. Shell fresh footprints lead east. No. Oh. Search for more footprints in the snow. Here we are. And I can see the twins over there. And I also see another player. I'm guessing that's where we're supposed to be headed. Footprints appear to be the same as those you saw previously. And they lead towards that building. Yep. That's what I thought. She's over here. Hmm. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. At first, we thought she'd gone inside the building. But the door doesn't look to have been opened in some time. She might still be nearby, so we'll keep looking around here. Then again, it's also possible that she ran right past this place. Would you mind searching up ahead? Uh, I could probably do that. I'm guessing that's where that other player was. Ah, there be footprints, I'm guessing. No, no footprints here. And trust me, she couldn't get here without leaving footprints of some kind, because it is fresh powder everywhere the way we look hello hey my chocobo tracks were still there for a few seconds <laughs> uh, I don't see anyone I see is snow and ice hmm? never mind I just saw her the girl in the green dress anxiously surveys her surroundings were you to call out to her from this distance, it might attract wild beasts to your location. It'd be safer to get closer first, but you must do so without drawing her attention. Oh boy. Oh, follow the girl from a safe distance. The objective will end in failure if you're noticed. Make use of cover, such as rocks to approach her without being- I have to stealth this? Similarly, the objective will also end if you fall too far behind. Should you fail to complete the objective, you can try again by returning to this location.
Your destination will not appear on the map while following. Oh, shit. That's just rude. Uh, I need cover, I need cover. Yep, I figured it should stop here in a few seconds. <laughs> I can even see the direction she's looking just to be safe. Yep. So far, so good? What are you up to? Hmm. I don't want to get on the chocobo and just, like, run past her by mistake. That would end badly. But at the same time, I need to... Kind of avoid the freaking giant-ass monsters around here. Okay, we're getting a little too close for my liking. Yep. Oh. God, I can hear that thing. <laughs> oh, she's running now. Thankfully, the Ceruleum sprites there, like, all the sprites just do not aggro unless you attack them. Or, I, I think actually some of them still aggro if you cast magic near them. Uh-oh. Duck around the corner, make sure she doesn't see us. Exactly. Ah, uh, I hope she's not talking about me. Okay. Thankfully, she doesn't ever seem to notice the footprints I'm leaving as I'm walking beside and behind her. <laughs> that would be an awkward question. It's like, huh? Whose footprints are these? Oh god, that one's that one's too close. That one is entirely too close. They're all depending on me. Ooh. Oh, is there a whole group of survivors? Uh-oh, she's sprinting. Uh, cover, 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 cover. Ah, oh, shit, 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 shit. Woo! That was close. This is it, the final spurt. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, it's south of us now. That's fine. We'll deal with it when we get to it. Hopefully, I think I know where she's going. She's going up to that house. I'm just kind of being cognizant of her needing to stop again. Ah, she made it. And that means I've made it. Duty complete. <laughs> Still in one piece. Perfect. And now to scare the shit out of her. Apologies, but you were followed. <gasps> who, who are you? Oh, stay back. This house is packed with explosives. Take another step. And I'll blow this place sky high! What? Oh, please! We just want to talk! <laughs> oh. I'm Alphano. Alphano Livior. And this is my sister Alice, and our good friend Degumon. We have no intention of hurting or taking anything from you or anyone else. I give you my word. We and our comrades have come to provide aid to the people of Garlemald. Aid? You savages are the ones responsible for all of this! You did this to us! Oh, come on! Bullpucky! Oh, we didn't, I promise you. One of the other reasons we came was to find out what happened here, in fact. The Tolofaroi are the ones to blame. They're the ones who laid waste to Gardamold, and they won't stop until they've destroyed the entire world. They're the enemy, our enemy. On our way, we've encountered Imperial soldiers who have been made their thralls. Those poor souls are now in our care, and we're striving to cure them of their affliction. You're the first person we've met who wasn't already enslaved. How were you able to escape the Tulofori's influence? Are there any others like you? I I'm sorry, I don't mean to overwhelm you. Let's start with introductions. Can you tell me your name? Hmm? Well? I... My name's Lucina. As for how I've managed to say sane... I've been asking myself the same question ever since that night and the roar, that terrible roar, and then the screams. 
I was screaming too, I think. I'm not sure, I can't remember. Then came the silence. Everything was still. Dude, the music got so super creepy all of a sudden. It was like waking up from a nightmare. I thought that maybe the fighting had stopped, so I stepped outside. But if your hairs are real, I saw one that day. Oh yeah, they're real. We call it the 13th. I ran past friends, people I'd known all my life. Eyes vacant, dead, staring at the sky. Others went mad and violent. I saw them struggle with soldiers, but didn't stay to watch. I fled as far as my legs would take me. Hmm. Does she have the echo, perhaps? Is that how she resisted the tempering? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yes? Do you have family here? Is this their home? No, this is Victor Spoils, a mansion for retired soldiers. Or it was, but now me and my... me and a few others are borrowing it. Me and your what? Sister? Daughter? Son? You know? As for the explosives, I was making that part up. I just wanted to keep everyone else safe and I didn't know if you were... <sighs> the truth is, our supplies are running low. You said you're here to help. Well, can you? Oh, of course. Whatever assistance we can provide, we will. Oh, thank you. I'd better tell the others first, though. Wait here. And then we're suddenly assaulted by Garlean soldiers. Oh, we didn't get s Oh, there are a few others. This is everyone. Not many. Lysina says you can be trusted, but these are desperate times. We'd be fools to let foreign troops into our home. Having said that, though, were you to provide us with means of heating the place, as a sign of goodwill, perhaps we could take you at your word. If that is too much to ask, then leave us be. Well, time to put my firewood gathering skills to use. Could you provide the spark with a little magic, Alice? We'll have a fire burning in no time. Maybe build it under that gazebo. The what? Oh, you mean the boa. Yes, yes, do as you will. The boa? Hmm, never heard it called that before. Is this going to be my new task now? Gather firewood? <sighs> well, I guess it's one way to earn the trust of the locals. Hmm. And that takes care of tracks in the snow. <laughs> well, not too bad of a little quest. And bonus, I probably got a good chunk of map showing now. Uh, speaking of... Oh, yeah, yeah, we just charged right through there, didn't we? Is there uh, an ether current nearby? Yeah, it's not too far off. All right, next quest. How the mighty are fallen. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I was... I'm still finding it hard to come to terms with all that's happened. Now that you're here, though, I'm hoping things might change for the better. You know, I've worked up quite a sweat from all that running about, so I'll leave space around the fire for the others. As you can tell, they're in a far worse state than me. We were planning to look for somewhere warmer or with more food, but they're not going anywhere until we nurse them back to health. Which... I don't know how to do. Is there anything you can do to help them? Well, let's see here. Alpha knows an accomplished healer. I'm not half bad at myself. Uh, we have plenty of medical supplies back at Broken Glass, so yeah. Lots of choices to deal with. The heck? They have a radio or something? They do have a radio! <laughs> ah, and I see you got the fire going. I can treat their frostbite and their wounds, but it will take time for the fire to do its work. Now would be a good occasion to make use of Emelian's tinctures, the ones that can warm the body from the inside out. Would you make sure everyone gets one? Perfect. <laughs> that is very handy. Alright, oh, I gotta go in order. Alright. The numbness is beginning to subside, though I suspect once the fire dies it will return with a vengeance. Well here, have a, a warming tincture, aka probably some mead. 
probably all this is, just alcohol. A warming tincture? I've never heard of such a thing. No, no harm in trying. Oh, but tell me, have you heard all of the city? Though calling it that seems absurd after what's happened. It's nothing but ruins now. The few buildings still standing offer no more than meager protection from wind and snow. Food production, water purification, the magic that sustained us has come to a grinding halt. What machina that remain operational can not be run for lack of ceruleum? Of course, Cerulea Ignis is full of the stuff for all the good it does us. No one here knows the first thing about extraction or refinement. Hmm. Of course, all the expertise is gone. Oh, all is well. Yes, never better. Here, have some drugs. Oh, what sweet libation is this? Is it poison by any chance? No, it's not poison. <laughs> oh, it was a joke, a joke. <sighs> Actually, I wouldn't mind some poison right now. Uh, if I laugh, tis that I may not weep, so said the poet. And alas, my tears would freeze on my cheek ere they fell. We are the blessed damned to bear witness to the fall of the great empire while our brethren lie dead, or live on as puppets of flesh. First came the war, then came the roar. When morning came, Gardamold was no more. In a cacophony of gunfire, explosions, and screams was our beloved capital raised to the ground. From the rubble rose the disheveled remnants, their lavish finery caked in ash as they shuffled mindlessly towards the palace, each bearing a fragment of stone or metal, an offering perhaps to the architect of our destruction. A hopeful view tried to reason with the deranged, only to be beaten for their kindness. But I knew better than to plead with the horde. I fled with my health, if not my conscience preserved. Now I wait with my fellow cowards for our final judgment. Hmm. Yeah, these guys are definitely, uh, not the better off. Oh, what do you want? Here. That should warm you up a little bit. Hmm. A tincture. Oh, well, I'll drink it, I suppose. I love us playing the, the rendition of the Garlean theme here. <laughs> oh, this. It's a radio. You don't have them where you come from, I take it. We use them to listen to messages sent by others, even over great distances. <laughs> I mean, we have Link Pearls. They do basically the same thing. There are different types, but this model is by far the most popular. Made with quality components crafted with the finest ore. Sourced from Locus Amadeus, it is. Not all that useful since the capital fell into ruin. The people at the broadcasting station must have either fled or ended up like all the others. Because all we've been hearing is the same music being played over and over again. Home beyond the horizon. An ode to the brave men and women set to reclaim our ancestral homeland of Locus Amaneus. And we may have founded an empire in these frozen wastes, but we always hope to take back what was once ours. It's a solemn reminder that though we must suffer great hardship, better days will surely come. Locus Amaneus, I don't recognize that area. Oh, despite everything, I believe that Emperor Varus yet lives, and that he speaks to us through our radios. It was a cunning strategy faking his murder. He must have foreseen this catastrophe and chosen to conceal himself, that he might one day make his triumphant return. Uh, no, he, he, he dead. He definitely dead. Yes, yes, I'm sure of it. Emperor Varus would not be defeated so easily. <sighs> Man, I don't want to break this guy's spirit. I'd kind of feel bad, though. Uh, oh, I have to give one to Lucina. Okay. Lucina, you also get a warming tincture. Oh, what's this? Here you are. Everyone else has had theirs. So, this is what you gave the others. Oh, thank you. I'll save it for later. Hmm. Actually, I have a few things to ask you. Go ahead. Are you part of the group staying in Laterum? I saw the Gators Vergilis troops heading toward the Magna Glacis a few days ago. Are they the ones you encountered? Yeah, that I recognize. Didn't know the place's name though, we just call it Broken Glass. Camp Broken Glass, you call it. And Vergilis and her men are all there now. Hmm. So, how did you reach the Magna Glacis? Did you cross the mountains on foot? Nope, airships. Portable airships, even. Airships? Then there might be a way to... Hmm? 
Lucina, where is everyone? Oh, there's still someone left. Is something the matter? Who's still in there? A voice from inside, you say? Oh, you must be imagining things. Everyone's out here. Perhaps a baby almost has found his way to the house. It wouldn't be the first time. Without the soldiers to scare them off, wild animals have been roaming closer to the settlements. Some have been known to attack people, too. <sighs> ah, wait, I just had an idea. If you and yours are strong enough to defeat a Legatus, then surely a few beasts shouldn't pose a threat. True. If you've a mind to continue helping us, perhaps you could head to the other side of the lake. There's a small group of tappers living there. People whose job was to extract ceruleums. They still do, from what we can tell. I've already tried asking if they would share the fuel with us, but they're not willing to give it away. They want food in exchange. Lots of food! And that's something we just don't have and can't get on our own. On top of that, to even reach the den, we'd have to make our way past all those creatures. Hmm. Would you be willing to go in our place? We only need enough ceruleum to last until the others are strong enough to travel to your camp. If the offer still stands, that is. Oh, and I don't expect you to give up your own supplies, but there might be another way to pay the tappers. Well, I could go whack monsters. If it's ceruleum you need, then ceruleum you shall have. You best watch out for baby albusties while we're away. <laughs> but, alright. A mission for ceruleum it is. Oh, thank you so much! To reach Tappas Den, you'll have to cross the lake. The ice is thick enough to support a person's weight, but if you'd rather not take the risk, you'll need to take the long way around. Finding the entrance can be a bit tricky too, so it's easier to just look for someone standing guard outside. However you decide to head there, please be careful. <laughs> Alright, so I'm headed way south, which is perfect, because south is where my next ether current is. I thought so. <laughs> I had a sneaky suspicion the moment I landed on these pipes and saw it was straight south that the ether current was going to be on top of the pipes. But my instincts are paying off here. Alright, next one is... 244 to the southwest, so still in the right direction. I can hear it. Aha! There you are! I knew I was close and I could hear the thing. It's number three! You and the next one is way, way to the north, which is fine because we're pretty much where we're supposed to be. Tapper's Den, literally right on the southern end of the map too. Dang. Who goes there? How did you find us? There, I had instructions, and directions even. What? What do you mean? I stand out like a sore thumb. Hm. If the purebloods over at Victor Spoils haven't given away our location, you never found us. And they're stuck up assholes. Don't think it come waltzing in here to bad and cerulean with nothing to offer in return. <laughs> Looks like the boots on the underfoot now the capital's gone to shite. I would say they've resorted to sending you to negotiate. I know your game sells sword. If you think we're given into intimidation, they've got another thing coming. Also, I saw Oh! Hey! Dude! Dude! I literally was just here for Ugh, fine. You guys deserve everything that's about to happen to you. I was here, perfectly willing to talk, but no, you guys had to get into it. You guys had to be smart asses. Ugh. Are you happy now? I'll happily beat you guys within an inch of your life. Sheesh. Some people. There you are. Hmm? Oh, hi, Elsa. Just after you left, Lucina asked me to go and catch up with you, in case you needed a hand. Someone must have let slip that I have a little experience in transporting barrels of ceruleum. <laughs> yeah, but I think we need to get them some food first. So this is Tapas Den. Now then, after you. After me. Hmm. Who are you? What happened to the guards? Yeah, sorry, your, your guards are a little, uh, impulsive. Aeolians and rebels here to save the people of Gardamold! That doesn't make any goddamn sense. 
Why the hell would you pass up this chance to put those Imperial bastards to the sword? Oh, let me guess. None of you are Garlean. You were brought here from other lands? Mm-hmm. Gearbanya, Yangsha, Bolsha, Dalmaska, to name but a few. Some dragged here against our will, others fed bullocks about a better life or put to work extracting Ceruleum. Or given the esteemed title of Arn, placing us firmly on the bottom rung of the ladder. But the old hierarchy means nothing in the new Gala Mold, says we. That the only thing that's escaped to all this unscathed is Cerule Ignis. Still sustaining us even with our paymasters out of the picture. Now, we hear your exports and drawing of Cerulean from the bottom of the lake. But how can you do that if it's frozen over? Heh, <laughs> wouldn't you like to know? Trade secrets, I'm afraid. At any rate, it's not as the Ceruleum's used for much these days, what with the city in ruins. We take enough to power our heaters and save the surplus for later. And though it helps save off the cold, to sod all about our hunger unless we trade it away. And speaking of which, be sure to tell your contingent we've got Ceruleum by the barrelful. If they're interested, we'll exchange it for whatever provisions they're willing to spare. Oh, we can certainly ask. But if you're all free to go now, why carry on living here? Free to go? Go where? Even if we managed to get back to our homelands, there'd be nothing left for us thanks to the Empire. And our knowledge and skills we acquired working here would be practically useless outside of Garlemald. So we're staying for the time being. As long as there's a need for Ceruleum, we'll find a way to get by. Even if Garlemald, as we know it, has gone for good. Gone for good? Hmm. Well, not a lot of faith that Garlemald's gonna pull through here. Regardless of what the Ilsabad contingent does for the people of Gardamold, the Empire itself is already a thing of the past. For many, that would be a cause for celebration, while for others, their whole way of life would have been turned upside down. After all the atrocities committed in the Empire's name, perhaps it is for the best that it's consigned to history. But what of the ordinary people, their lives, their stories? Should they be forgotten too? Hmm. I suppose there'll be plenty of time to ponder that later. For now, let's see about getting us some ceruleum. Yeah, like I said, I think we're gonna have to get some food for these guys. Jarek, tell us the end of the trail. So you come seek at Ceruleum, have ya? Uh-huh. I mean, I'm willing to go get some food for you. What? This peel blood's up at Victor Spoil sent ya? To turn to their enemies for help. Hm, it must be more desperate than I thought. And then again, Lucina's got a little sister to think about. Aha! So that's who's in the building, her little sister. Sister, but we only saw Lucina and three men. Yeah, it's possible she died from whatever was ailing her. If she needed treatment, I doubt there'd be any way to get it around here. I may have refused Lucina at first, thinking she'd come back with something to exchange. But I suppose I could spare him a bottle's worth of ceruleum. Consider it a reward for introducing me to the rest of your contingent. Be sure to send them our way here. Oh, well that's sweet of you. A whole bottle. I can't for the life of me think why Lucina would keep her sister a secret from us, but we can ask about that after we've delivered the ceruleum. Come on, let's hurry back. Hmm. Well, well, well. You know, I half expected to get an ether card quest here, but sure. Back to Lucina. Hmm. I wonder where she's at. I don't see her anywhere. This isn't right. It's too quiet. I would have thought Alphino is to be treating them by the fire, but they're nowhere to be seen. I'll look inside the house while you search outside. They can't have gone far. Oh no. Oh no. Search for Alpha No. Alpha No, where are you at, buddy? Alpha No! Alpha No, where the bloody where is he? Hello! What happened here? The fudge, Alpha No! What the hell? They asked me, asked me to help carry supplies. But when I followed them back here, they attacked me. Caught me off guard, forced me to defend myself. I fear they fared rather worse for me. You can't fool us. We know, we know what you're about. Vultures, that's what you are. Wait in the wings for us to show weakness, then you swoop in. Get help? Oh, but rot. 
on a ploy to make us lower our guard. Let you in, put ourselves at your mercy, put us in chains to our lands, get your revenge. Ah, oh, you idiots. Oh, you're wrong. That's not what any of us want. Just because that's what you would do in our place. Safety arguments for later. We've got bigger problems. I found empty medicine bottles in a bed that was still warm. It's true. Lucina was hiding a sick sister inside the house. Ah, oh, crap. But now, there's no sign of either of them. Where are they? Where did they go? Away from you and yours. And if you think I tell you, you're a fool. I never give up my people. You idiot. I was trying to help them, you idiot. <laughs> her sister's ill. The empty bottles prove it. So the medicine ran out and she put it in her pockets to make it easier to carry. Or to avoid the sound of clinking glass. There are beasts everywhere. How could you let them go alone? To protect them from you. What? Well, you guys are so full of garlic and propaganda you can't even understand why people are here to help. You invade our homeland, taint it with the same sorcery used to slay our countrymen. My god, the ancient sooner died and suffer the insult. Better for them to flee, keep their purity intact, than be corrupted by you and your vile magics. We were waiting, waiting for a chance to free them since the moment you arrived. Free them? This is getting us nowhere. I cannot say how Lucina and his sister will react when we find them, but find them we must. Go on without me, both of you. I first need to tend to my injuries, and theirs. I will join you in the search after. All right, be careful. Uh... We'll do our best to find them quickly. Hopefully they haven't gotten too far. There's only one path out of here, so that's where we'll start. Mm hmm I cannot for the life of me believe that Lucina is that bloody stupid. Two sets of tracks. So her sister's actually upright. I thought she'd be carrying her at this point. Two sets of fresh footprints. Young women judging by their size. This is definitely them. Come on. Uh, hi, Sprite. Um, don't mind me. We're just going to move on here. More tracks. Where are they trying to get to? Are they trying to get to the trapper's place? The trail stops at the frozen lake. Perhaps they chose this route so it's not to leave footprints. I can't think of any other reason. Look at this place. It's crawling with beasts. And I can only imagine how hard it must be for her ailing sister to cross the ice. Ah, we could really do with Alphano's help, but we can't afford to wait for him. Let's split up and look for clues. Oh my god! Look at this search radius, it's freaking, oh my goodness. Uh, it's huge. Well, at least I get to walk around enshrouded for a few seconds, kinda get to see what it looks like properly up close and personal, holy crap. Dude, my eyes are freaking cool. Oh, I look so cool in my enshroud mode. This is awesome looking. Oh, and there it goes. Ah, well, it was nice while it lasted. <laughs> <sighs> the wet paper half buried in the snow appears to be a flyer for a theater group, though the run of shows advertised has long since ended. Crud. I thought this was actually something important. That's the whole reason I stopped here. Okay, that looks a little more important. Holy shit. That's a serious blood stain. The blood staining the snow appears to be fresh. Judging by the amount, the victim may have been severely wounded. Trying to bloodly southeast. Oh, man. Oh, don't tell me Lucina just got herself killed because of her own stupidity. Oh. And there's a freaking A rank over here in the middle of this. That's just even better. Oh. Oh, no. No! 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 What are you two thinking? You people are stupid! Why would you do this? There's nothing over here! The two bodies are already cold. Oh.
Man. Why? They were following the radio, that's why. A stupid song. Swallowing all that propaganda, they just Safer couldn't trust to us. brave the wilds than trust in our magic. We should have. I should have. Mm. We can't leave them like this. We have to take them home. Fine. What if we're only making it worse? Hmm? Maybe we don't belong here, but neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. <sighs> Those other three are gonna blame us for this. I know they are. the story about Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Of course I didn't believe it, but Lacinia and her sister did. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. Hmm. Maybe. What? I want to understand. So I'm going to borrow this for a while, if that's all right. You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. But I pray that in time, we will be more than that to you. That we will find a way to help your loved ones. And see that no more children are left to freeze alone in the snow. Damn, man, this is a gut punch right here. We just met these two. We didn't even get to meet the sister. Wow. That was, that was legit cold. There must have been something we could have done. But what? Should we have never come here? Would they still be alive if we hadn't? I don't know. I honestly don't. <sighs> Man. This quest hurts. Like, seriously. They literally died for no reason. And the worst part is, that's where I gotta leave it. I don't think I have enough time to do another quest. Oh, <sighs> so if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite and subscribe to join me for more yours and adventures. Hopefully uh, a little more lighthearted after this. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.